Howdy folks, it's Shane the RV Dad in Parkway RV Center and today upon special request we're gonna do this little Sabre. Uh, it's a Cobalt. Uh, it's built by Forest River, one of the many companies that make fifth wheels and park models. The model number is 38 RDP. Let's walk around it. I already see a couple things but little light stuff is the reason why we sell these RVs used. We're not just gonna sell them to you and let you deal with any of it. We're gonna make sure to take care of them. We got a great little checklist, slides, roof air, refrigerator. You know, the trim around the slides will be taken care of. I'm gonna show you a couple places that I saw. And uh, you know, even if, uh, I mean the water heater, uh, all, I mean, pretty much everything you're going to use, everything but like uh, like radios and TVs, we really don't cover. But we want you to come pick this thing up and be ready to camp or live in. So uh, let's get started. I walked around it and I found a couple things, but all that's going to be on our checklist. So I am not worried about it at all. And first of all, you like I like to look for the caulking. I like to look at the trim. I like to look at the corners. You look at all the corners and see if there's a big buildup of caulk. You know, 100% there's probably gonna be some water issues on the inside. Now, depending on when they got a hold of it is one thing. You know, these things sit around too long with, uh, without any maintenance and it can cause some damage. But if you catch them soon enough, you're not, you're just gonna have to just dry it up and and uh, prevent it from occurring anymore. Everything looks really good on this unit, uh, on, on the outside. I believe it's made of uh, fiberglass. I know the front cap is fiberglass. Um, you see on the outside, there's no waves, there's no bubbles. And if you're the first time looking at RVs, you wanna see and make sure that there's no bubbles on the exterior, which uh, basically that's called delamination. That's gonna be separation from the pressed uh, interior wall and the insulation. And that's something you may want to avoid unless you're just looking into an older one. And uh, I mean, that occurs sometimes over time. Uh, you just wanna definitely make sure the inside is not all crunchy or soft. I think this one's in real good shape all the way around. Uh, we're gonna walk around it. You know, I cannot get my big butt in between those slides, so we'll we'll go on the other side and I'll show you what I'm looking at. And you always look at the slide, the tops of the slides, uh, to see if there's any caulk or popped out screws or anything. That one looks real good. They got the they've got the slide tape where it's supposed to be. You don't see any over the screws, which will make you want to look on the inside. And uh, it looks looks pretty good. There's vacuum bonded siding, just like Forest River and a lot of Forest River sister stores like to do that really gets 100% uh, adhesion on the walls. So you don't really have to worry about that. See the one thing that I saw Let's take a look up under the slide. This is what you want to see. You want to see all the mechanics in good shape. You don't want too much rust on the gears and stuff, on the bolts, your wires there. It looks really good. And this, you want to make sure this ain't soft. If it's soft, you got an issue on the flooring on the inside, maybe even the wall but it's in good shape here. Well, let's, uh, I'm gonna walk around the other side. Just show, this is something I saw on, on this side and uh, on the other, it looks like the rubber had come loose right here. And what this does, I mean, basically we replace this if it's necessary, but you just slide it onto the, it's kind of like a rail system. You slide it on there and then uh, it'll all stick. I can almost do it myself, but uh, our technicians, they're gonna look at that and make sure it's done properly. And the storage, I wanted to show you that on this side, got some stuff in there. 
but uh, it is passed through. You've got a little bitty fridge out here. Could probably be swept out. There's your grill, a spare tire. And there's now, if you're gonna be in really, really cold environments, uh, you're gonna want to put maybe a space heater down here. I mean, I'm talking 20 degrees and below uh, over a long time. You're gonna want a little, little 12 volt heater down here or a space heater just to kind of protect your pipes there. It looks like it's got a cable connection down here. I guess that's a light. Our lady was cleaning it inside and she had the air running. So it's not gonna be too hot in there right now. But, um, I know that it needs uh, a propane tank on this side. Well, if I can ever get this closed back up. Ah, there we go. I know it needs a propane tank in this side and we provide that. It needs uh, probably a big 30 in there. It's relatively clean, you don't see any tool markings or something that throws up the red flag. You've got two batteries in here. I'll show you those. Two of the batteries. Those are our batteries. And there's your, uh, looks like your, in, in, what is that? A power inverter. And then, uh, you know, the covers, the battery cut off, all the wires look good in here. And then there is space. I don't know if you could put a generator in there or not. You'd have to you have to get the proper setup for it, but uh, a lot of people like to put generators on it. There's your auto level system there, docking lights, solar on the side. You can actually add solar to this. Here is underneath the other side. Rubber looks good on this. This is what you want it to look like. And it really is just tracks. You slide that rubber on the tracks and uh, it'll help prevent water from getting in. <coughs> Excuse me. See, that's kind of a tiny, tiny little uh, propane bottle here. It does have room to fit more. And what our guys do, they'll put new ones in there. Worst case scenario, they'll put one full one and one empty so you can trade that other one in at a fraction of what it costs to buy the whole thing. And let's see. There's your other side, water system, tank flush, all that good stuff. If you need help winterizing, just call me or watch a YouTube video or two. There's a few different ways to do it. Now, uh, the rubber looks good on this next slide. Oh, here's the water here. This is clean too. This is what you wanna see. You don't wanna see too much residue and, you know, I've seen these things with, it looked like little tiny gravel all in there. And that just means the the water heater element uh, had kind of dissipated over time. And you want to change those about every year, two, three years, depending on how much use it gets. But that's a clean little water heater there. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see any uh, wasp nests or dirt daubers building up in there. You know that that could cause you problems, especially if it's in the uh, in the uh, furnace exhaust. You know, it won't build up there. You want a nice airflow. All right, and here is underneath this slide. Again, it looks really good. No rust on the frame. Exterior looks good. That's gonna be your uh, exhaust fan from your stove vent right there. There's your tires. Yeah, looks like they might have blown a tire. Somebody blew a tire. What year are those tires? 2022, looks like they got relatively new tires on them. I saw that and then I saw one of the feet missing on the uh, leveling jacks. And I'm pretty sure Miss LaWanda has ordered that. Uh, you know, we kind of 
we got like two or two techs at the most right now so they're covered up doing this old units but uh i'll get them out here and try to put that on if if it's came in yet and found this right here the rubber had come off the tracks there so one of the technicians uh we'll get them out here and put that rubber back let's see underneath this slide looks good and you see there's no bubbling it's called delamination and you gotta watch your under your windows and it's always good to seal around them over over time and keep your little gutters clean these little spots right here you got to keep gunk out of there coming to the other side this side of the slide looks great and then you got your uh, corner there it looks like it's factory now our guys go up there and they make sure it's all updated so you're not gonna have to deal with leaks you know off the bat let's see looks good on the back no puffing out no bubbling on the back so that's a good sign ladder looks good and you got a rack to put extra suitcases and stuff on I reckon that'll fold down you can put more stuff on it all that looks good let's go around to the other side see that that rubber just come loose and that, now that can be popped right back on but uh, our technicians they'll make sure it will They'll take care of it. There's your little rail. I'm pretty sure you can slide your grill onto this little rail and there's a quick connect up underneath. You can plug your gas in. Now we're gonna have to go all the way around. And we got a whole bunch of fifth wheels around. If y'all wanna look at the website, we've marked some of them down. Then we got them park models. I love the park models. Let's go inside. All right. Smells nice in here right off the rip. Don't smell like any type of water damage or mildew. That's always the number one sign right there. New carpet. Got your TV in there. I guess it's got a TV in there. I wish you wouldn't have unplugged it. I'd have had the air running. The air was running good. It wasn't wasn't real loud. So if you ever you know watching TV or something, the air's pretty quiet. It'll run through the vents too. You close that vent up there and it'll be even more quiet. It'll run through the uh, ducts up there. Furniture's in good shape. There's your theater seating there. And this is a little jackknife. So that'll fold out into a small bed. And then that'll do the same. Fireplace, great cabinets. There's that. Here's a kitchen. There's your kitchen space. Nice island, nice sink. Stove and oven, double fridge. Furion microwave. Here's a cabinet and there's a little pantry. Let's see, some of them like to put a water heater, water heater, uh, washer and dryer in here. I don't see the hookups, so it might be in the bedroom if it's got it. There's all your controls, your lights. Check all your tanks, your batteries. There's your inverter and your control panel, little touch screen. 
Everything looks good. You don't have any discoloration or rusty screws over the skylight. Looks like that's going to be. That's, that sounds like real glass. Shower door there. There's your cabinet space for your towels and all your toiletries. This porcelain little John there. It's got some storage back here. That's probably where I'd put the towels and stuff right there. And you got your little medicine cabinet. The sink's clean. And let's go to the bedroom. Yep, brand new carpet. And that looks to be like a king bed. Yes, it is. 50 amp service. You got both your airs. This is the other thermostat here. Now, it's got a slanted roof in the back. So, this is a little bit different model. Uh, but I'm 6'1". I'm not really in trouble until I get all the way to the corner. Hit my head a little bit. New carpet in the closet. Extra carpet if you need it. And there's your washer and dryer hookup. So you can put a washer and dryer in here next to each other. Some people do the... I don't think you can... You can't do a stackable, but you can put one next to the other back here, I do believe. There's a nice shelf. And looks like you might need to get you a TV. And looking good, looking good. So this is, what is it? The 2020 Forest River Saver Cobalt. Oh, look, there's another pantry. Now that's... That's a big old pantry. That's where the snacks go, buddy. <laughs> you put your dog food and stuff down there. Trim's in good shape around the slide. Let's see if the microwave, make sure the microwave's clean. Yeah, nice and clean. And the fridge. Nice side fridge. No odors or anything coming out. You know, sometimes we get these things, people left food in them. Ugh. It's nice and clean, though. You don't see any stains or grossness. There's your fridge. That's made by Hisense. Good brand. And you got, like, uh, two drawers for your freezers. Unless that's a freezer on the bottom and that's, a uh, like, a vegetable drawer. Yeah, see there's ice cubes and stuff. That's probably your freezer on the bottom. Yeah, looks pretty good. You know, we do our inspection. We ensure all these major systems work. And if they don't, they are fixed and replaced. Of course, we got financing if you need it. And if you have any questions, give Shane the ultimate best awesome salesman in the world at Parkway RV Center. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. You can always call me. If you need, even if you don't want to buy nothing, you can say, hey, Shane, what are you doing? Let's talk about our adventures traveling in the United States. I don't mind that at all. If I'm available, we'll chat. But I hope y'all have a blessed day, and I can't wait to meet you in Ringgold, Georgia.